Okay, so I did a video a couple of days ago about um, using uh, boiling water for ant killer. And I wanted to kind of give you an update on what it looks like. So this is what it looks like after a couple days. Um, it does kill your grass. However, you can see when I step on the uh, afflicted area, nothing comes up. There's no ants that come out. There's nothing like that. And it does effectively hit the reset button for the uh, for this area. Now that doesn't mean that nothing will grow. Um, you will have to come back through with with grass seed if that's something that you want, um, which I don't really care about. I'm pretty sure 90, if not more, percent of my yard is weeds, but I don't have to worry about that. Let's move up here to the uh, the other site that I was working on. That was in the chicken coop. And you can see right there, that's where that was. And there's grass that's starting to grow right there, there, and there. Um, but of course, you can look around here and see that well, grass really doesn't have a hard time growing here anyway because of all the fertilization. And then up here. Now, understand this. If you don't get all of it, they don't, go, they don't necessarily all die off. So this was the boiling water area to begin with. And then there's somewhere right here that, um, that basically had a, uh, a resurgence for a little while until I took care of them. So if you're gonna use that uh, technique that I gave you of just using boiling water, then understand that it can, it will kill your grass. However, you haven't been using chemicals on your, on your lawn that could end up making your, you know, your kids sick or your animals sick if they get on it or in it. And to be honest with you, it's cheap. It's something that, um, that something that uh, your your grass can come back from. All right, so there it is. There's my warning for you.